does it mean to have hope? Or similarly, what does it mean to live with hope? I think hope is a difficult concept for us to get our heads around. We're not quite sure what to make of it. I know that early in my career when I worked in medical settings, there was a lot of talk of false hope. You know, it was thought that if a patient had been given a serious diagnosis, but they talked about hope, that that meant they were in denial. But hope doesn't have anything to do with denial. And I think that to label someone's hope as false hope really does them a disservice. It's, it's really not listening to what it is that they're trying to put together in their life. So today I want to talk about hope and how we learn to hope. And as I do that, I want you to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell. I recently had a friend contact me and I was talking with her about the situation she's in. She's been undergoing cancer treatment and she went through surgery and then chemotherapy and then radiation. And now she's in that two year in between time sort of a limbo. Maybe you don't know this, but after someone finishes cancer treatment, over the next two years, they go back for regular checkups to see if cancer has come back in any way. And it isn't that after two years, anyone says you're cured. It's just that after two years, that's a sign that the cancer is in remission. So she's in the early part of that two year period. And she was asking, what does it mean to hope? What should I hope for? You know, I think a lot of times we think of hope in, in sort of terms of wishful thinking. You know, like, I hope I win the lottery. Or I hope that that cop I just passed whenever I was going over the speed limit didn't really notice so I don't get a ticket. That kind of wishful thinking isn't really what hope's about, even though we use the word in that way. I think hope is much deeper. I think hope is about an outlook in life, about a way we, we see life around us. My image for hope is, is looking up at the sky and seeing nothing but dark clouds. And no matter how thick the clouds are, hope leads me to believe that there's the possibility that a ray of sunlight's gonna come through. Maybe it'll squeak through on the horizon, maybe it'll come somewhere else, but there could still be sunlight. For me, that's, that's about hope, that there's possibility, that there's an option for something good to still happen, even though I'm not sure how or why or what that goodness is gonna be. I learned about hope in the AIDS crisis in the 1980s and early 90s. I had been living in Pittsburgh at the time and was really active in developing AIDS-related AIDS services and education programs, and, and more importantly, being with people who ended up dying of AIDS. Those people included people who were close friends of mine, uh, there were people I went to college with. They were other friends that I knew. And there were many others who I didn't know until they were diagnosed, but I walked with them through their journey through death. And for many of them, I, I uh, officiated at their funerals. And after, oh, I don't know, 100 or 150 deaths over a few years, I got to the point where I didn't know what to do with my grief. I just felt so overwhelmed with my grief. And nobody could really help me. Nobody had any answers, and I wasn't sure which way to turn with it. But I knew that everywhere I went, I was reminded of people who died. So an opportunity came for me to move to South Florida, and I decided to take it. And part of why, well, it was a good opportunity, it wasn't a mistake to make, but part of why was I thought, if I'm in a different situation where I'm not always reminded of people who died, maybe I'll be able to work through this grief. In the first few months I lived in South Florida, I would get up before dawn and drive to the beach and sit at the beach to watch the sunrise. And I would be there with my coffee and sit there for a while. I'd get there when the sky was dark and wait for the first light to begin to come. And then eventually the sun shone on the, over the horizon, over the water. 
And I remember one day, and I don't know how many times I had done this before this happened, but I remember one day it occurred to me that the sun always comes up, that there's always light. It didn't matter how dark it was when I got there, but there was always light. There was always the sun. And I thought, you know, that's true for life. And that's how I understood hope. That no matter how dark it becomes, there's still the possibility of light. And for me, that's the essence of hope. And once I made that realization, I thought back on the people who I was with who had passed and thought about what hope meant for them. And the hopes may have been very simple. They weren't about, oh, I'm going to suddenly get better. They knew their situation. One hoped that he would live long enough for his mother to get remarried, and he died a day after her marriage. Another hoped that things that he was leaving for nieces and nephews would be appreciated as, as ways of remembering him. Another hoped that people wouldn't mourn him for too long, but would get back into life. There are many ways in which people hope. And my own mother, as she faced death, she was, knew that she was, it was her time, and she was not afraid of dying, but she hoped, and her hope was to be reunited with my father that the two of them would be able to go walking in the woods again the way they did when they first fell in love. That was her hope that helped enable her to move through death. Our hopes can be many and varied. They can be specific like my mother's were. They can be more general as mine tend to be. But hope isn't just something we turn on. It isn't something we just learn how to do. But but we practice it. We begin to nurture the outlook, the outlook of something positive, that goodness is going to come in life no matter how difficult the situation is, that there is still reason for hope. And I think in no circumstances that false hope. What people call false hope is really denial. It's denying the circumstance. But when you know your circumstance, when you're looking for goodness, that's hope. And it's a spiritual practice that we nurture. It's about our outlook on life. It's about trusting that there's something good in life, even for me in difficult times. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Share this video with somebody who's struggling and trying to figure out hope for their life. Leave me some comments, like the video, and know that I really appreciate that you spent a few minutes with me today. Thanks, and have a great day.